Our neighbor was getting rid of this laminate desk, so we snatched it right up. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what I was going to do with it, and I really thought that it was pretty ugly to begin with. But I wanted to try my hand at painting IKEA furniture without sanding, so here we are. All right, so really quickly before we could paint, we had to do a few things. Obviously, if this was new IKEA furniture, we wouldn't have to do any of it. And you can actually just paint your furniture before putting it together. But anyways, we had to remove these kid-proof drawer lock things, sand the metal where it was chipping, wood fill the laminate that had chipped on the bottom, super glue the laminate that was peeling off, And of course, we had to clean it all off. Once all of that was done, I sprayed the dresser with clear shellac. So last year, I did a little test on laminate furniture and learned that shellac products stick so well to laminate without any sanding beforehand. I compared the white bin shellac primer and the clear primer to some other water-based primers and shellac was the clear winner for sure. It can definitely be rolled on instead of sprayed, but it is pretty thin, so it's hard to brush on, but I love how easy it is to spray on. And yeah, shellac is very, very strong. So I always wear a respirator and I get as much ventilation as possible when I'm using it. The other awesome thing about shellac is that it works well with oil-based products or water-based products so you can use whatever paint you want with it. I didn't spray this one side of the desk so I could do a little scratch test on it. So a few hours after I sprayed the shellac, I brushed some of the paint onto the side without the shellac and on the top that I had shellaced. About 12 hours later the next morning, I scratched at the paint and what would you know? Look at how easily the paint scratches off without the shellac and how well the paint stays on with the shellac underneath it. I will say though, this clear shellac doesn't work as well as the white tinted bin shellac does. The paint and the clear shellac scratched right off of this little plastic ring thing. So I ended up spraying it with the bin shellac primer. So I honestly would very much recommend just using the bin shellac primer instead of this clear shellac. All right, so now it's time to paint. I used fusion mineral paint in this beautiful color French eggshell, and I added some water to it to thin it out, which really just makes it easier to brush on without leaving thick brush marks behind. Fusion is a very, very durable paint that dries into a matte finish. I personally like to top coat it because I don't like matte finishes, but it doesn't technically need one for durability purposes. Here's what the paint looked like after the first coat was dry, and obviously I needed another coat. So after an hour or so, I painted the second coat on. I could have been done at this point, but I thought that it needed something else. It was pretty boring. So I grabbed some popsicle sticks from one of my recent projects and some glue that I had heard great things about and glued them to the drawers. This glue dries within a few minutes and that is why I picked it. So I could just keep moving on with my project. Then I clamped some wood down to the drawer and cut off the edge of the popsicle sticks with my Dremel multi-tool. Then I sanded the popsicle sticks smooth and I sanded the edges flush with the edge of the drawer I filled the cracks in with some natural wood filler, let that dry, and then sanded the wood filler down smooth. Okay, for the moment of truth here, I did one last scratch test on all of the different parts of the desk. Look how good the paint is holding up. The little plastic ring thing held up really well and the paint on the metal legs held up great too. Everything held up great. 
And as the paint dries over the next month or so, it will get even stronger. Oh, and since I don't love matte paint and how easily it gets dirty looking, I sprayed a couple of coats of water-based polyurethane in a satin sheen all over the desk. Before I share what it looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. It really helps get our videos out to more people and we really appreciate your love and support. And we want to hear from you too. All right, here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. I totally thought that this desk was so ugly before, but now I absolutely love it. I honestly should have painted it a color that matches what's going on in my office so then I could keep it. What do you think of it now? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for your love and support and I will catch you next week with a new makeover.